You know, Laurel, I know when Dr. Sandra Lee shows up with jello and a needle, she's got mm -hmm. my attention. I saw you running. Yeah. <laughs> well, have you ever had a little cut or injury turn into a big, lumpy, unsightly scar? If you have, then you've probably dealt with keloids and probably know how tough they can be to cure. I love earrings. <laughs> but for three years, 18-year-old Karen Erzra hasn't been able to wear them. Her problem? A keloid on her left earlobe. It just grew out of nowhere. As a result of ear piercing, Hi. dermatologist Sandra Lee says keloids aren't uncommon in patients with darker complexions, and they're tough to treat. That you have had it removed before and that it's come back. Yeah. Since surgery already failed once for Karen, Dr. Lee is trying something new. The new device is a probe that we're going to insert into the keloid, and it's going to make it frostbite. There we go. It's called CryoShape a cannula that's cooled by a liquid nitrogen tank. Once it's in place and the nitrogen flows, within seconds, Karen's keloid shows first signs of freezing. Over the next several minutes, more and more of her scar becomes icy. Everything looks exactly as it should. Once the entire scar turns white and smoky, frostbite induction is complete. It's frozen. Karen will go home with a bandaged ear. Over the next several days, her keloid will blacken like this one. It looks a lot worse before it looks better. But within weeks, the hope is... The whole thing will kind of fall off. All right, that is something to see. And joining me right now is Dr. Sandra Lee, dermatologist from Upland. Yes. And doctor, thank you for being here thank this you. afternoon. Uh, first of all, just tell us briefly, what causes a keloid? Well, keloids are very common and they are caused by really an overproduction of collagen or fibrous tissue. I kind of like to explain it to people that it's just, they're hyperactive, they're just very excited, the cells are there, and they're typically very itchy and kind of red and raised, and they mm -hmm. outgrow the area in which that they, the initial trauma was. They're usually triggered by trauma. Right. And they're very common in certain ethnicities, such as Asians, Hispanics, African Americans. The most common areas that they occur are probably on the earlobe, like, like this young lady has, you can also get them on your chest or your shoulders, your back, because it's a very, it's a high area of stress. You're kind of moving back and forth. Right. Obviously, we live in a multicultural area, so mm -hmm. a lot of people who meet the description yeah. you just described live right here in Southern California. Let's take a, pic, a look at some of the pictures of before and mm -hmm. after. Um, if yeah. you can see those on screen, then we can get maybe a better sense yeah. of, of what people look like before and after. Right. Here and we go. you know what's so amazing about this? It's really a, a brand new device that it's been out, and it's it's been out actually in Europe and in in, and in Asia for many years, but really it's just recently been cleared by the FDA here in, in America. And it really, what we're doing is we're just creating frostbite, right? Within that keloid, we're trying to, we insert a probe and it, it freezes it from the inside. You know, you might know what this canister is that I brought here and I'm gonna actually show it. I'm gonna start it now because it takes a little while for it to kind of cool off, but I, we insert it into a little can of Jello just so you can maybe see, this is liquid nitrogen which we use to treat warts or pre-cancers. Right. I think a lot of the people, a lot of the cameramen and people on the set here, they recognize this and they always kind of run when I'm coming Does it with hurt? This. It doesn't, when you numb the area up, you can't feel it and as it's healing over the next few weeks or a month or so and it kind of shrivels up like a grape or turns black like you saw it doesn't hurt either and you just can you see it it's starting to really freeze sure. it takes like maybe 15 minutes or so for it to really uh, happen but in the gel it'll freeze from the inside and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to take imagine this gel is the keloid and we're trying to freeze it and destroy it from the inside out. Now, some of those pictures we saw just a moment ago, some people looked better than others. What do you think yeah. the success rate is? Oh, they say this is sex success rate is 97%, you know, um, no recurrence over 18 months. So that's pretty good, especially considering that this is a very frustrating kind of disease or condition to treat. And there's really multiple ways to treat it and there's no real great method. This is really exciting. I mean, it's really interesting that we've got a new technique that works. All right, uh, Dr. Sandra Lee, we thank you very much. And Jeff, you don't have to be fearful anymore. Back to you. No, I'm just glad that my ears are intact and they don't need any treatment. All right, coming up.